Hi, I'm Eric Kunz at Furuno, and today I'd like to introduce you to a brand new video streaming feature that we brought into our TZ Touch 3 version 2 software update that allows you to take an existing HDMI or VGA video source and network it to all the displays on your boat. Let's see how it works. If you have an existing video source on your boat, like a CSH-8L, or an FCV-1900, or a CH-500, a CH-600, or even a Blu-ray player, it's now super simple to get that video into the TZ Touch 3 network and distribute to every MFD on the vessel. In order to make it easy, what we've done is we've provided these two kits. The first kit is a VI-HDMI kit that includes everything you need to basically plug and play this video converter into any TZ Touch 3 network system. It includes an HDMI cable, the network cable, and the actual pre-programmed box or video converter that you just need to plug in. And when I say plug in, it's really just that simple. It has an HDMI video input and an HDMI video output. It's got a 12 volt video power source, so it comes with a wall wart for AC power if you have 110 or 220 AC, but you can also cut that off and feed 12 volts, a low, basically about a quarter of an amp, 12 volt source directly into this box for a DC powered system. And of course you have your network output. So once you do that, if I plug in my HDMI video, for example, from an FCV 1900 that has a single video source, I can take that video output from this box, bring it in here, and it's got a pass-through port on the HDMI output. So if I wanted to take that direct HDMI video and say send it to an external monitor like this TV behind me, it's really simple to do, but it also converts the video at the same time. The other box is almost exactly the same thing. The other kit is called a VI-CSH8L, which is a VGA converter or distribution uh, system. So two system, two, two different boxes, depending on what kind of video you have, and it's really simple to do. So when you get this product, either product, you're gonna go into the software setup, and it's really pretty simple. I'm just gonna go and touch the display, go into my home, go to settings, go to camera, swipe up, and you're gonna see in the version two software update, a new selection for video streaming. It's right here. I'm gonna nickname this video source FCV1900 because that's what I wanna bring in, my FCV1900 video. And I'm gonna program in this exact URL for the HDMI source. It's a slightly different one for VGA. And by the way, the, the IP address is already programmed into both of these boxes. There's no need to set up the box itself. You're just telling the system which IP address to look for the video. But that's the only thing you have to do. And once you turn on, and in the bottom here it says use as sonar video input. If you turn that on, it'll automatically leave the home, the home icon and allow you to sw edge swipe out and leave some information on the display like you're using it for, uh, you know, for uh, actual uh, FCV 1900 video or uh, another video source like a CSH8L. Nice thing about that is that you can turn that off if you have an HDMI video source like a Blu-ray player. Once I do that, I, I get out of this mode and you'll see now that the video will come up and it's really cool. One, also once I do that, if I touch the home button, you'll see a brand new video icon and we made it look like a sonar because that's what most people we think are gonna use these boxes for, to bring in either sonar or FCV 1900 video. But again, you could also bring in a Blu-ray player, really simple with this low uh, cost effective box into any TC Touch 3 network. So this new icon is an orange icon with a triangular shape with a little sonar uh, picture below it. And that's the new icon. I can set this up in either a full screen or I've made a quarter screen over here. I'll bring that up and look at the quarter screen to show you how I've done it. I've also added that quarter screen to the actual uh, favorites uh, to, uh, in my swipe or make it a full page. You can do it however you like. Once I've done that, I can select that page. And also, if I make it full screen, it's really cool. When I edge swipe out from the left, it'll bring up my data boxes and it automatically reformats the video 
and nothing gets cut off. So you see your full data box selection, you have all the information there, and all the video is readjusted no matter what, even if you have a Blu-ray player connected. So if I wanna change it and make it work with the CSH-8L, I would go in here, Home, Settings, Camera, go up to the same video streaming selection. In this case, in this case I'm gonna change my nickname to Sonar, S-O-N-A-R, okay. Hit the green checkbox. Then I'm gonna change my URL selection. Once I do that, that's all I have to do. That URL is the pre-programmed URL for the VI-CSH8L converter box. And you see that the sonar appears on the display and on all the other displays in the network if I select that video display icon. And that's it. It comes up in perfectly. The resolution is nice and crisp. It looks the same on all of the MFDs in the network. And once I've done that, I can easily select that tab, go down. It's the same exact tabs for either a quarter screen or a full screen. And I can see my CSH8L or my other HDMI, HDMI video source in any of the modes, normal modes of the TZ Touch 3 MFD. So these are two new cost-effective ways to get video from an existing source like an FCV1900, CH500, CH600, CSH8L into any TZ Touch 3 network with this version 2 update. For more information on either the VI CSH8L or the VI HDMI, go to FarunaUSA.com.